गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू डूइंग ग्रेट हैप्पी वेंसडे um beautiful weather here really cold as you can see i'm hafsa malik i think you already know me if you don't know me google my name <laughs> we will get down to business what are we doing today i prepared a mock test for you of 75 questions um du et ke liye for masters and for phd since you have your exam tomorrow all the best for the exam but please go ahead and do the mock test now what i have seen at there um what i have seen in the papers is i've taken the papers of last 5 years and usi mein se main aapko best pyqs kara rahi hu there's a to revision ke liye class ke baad yaad rakhiye for those of you who are going please don't worry about net cut off if you're going uh, for your entrance tomorrow kyunki aapka score change nahi hone wala hai कट ऑफ कैन चेंज दैट इज ऑलरेडी इन द पास्ट वो आपके अभी के एक्शन डिटर्मिन नहीं कर सकती हैं ओके दैट्स ऑलरेडी डन प्लीज ट्राई टू डू योर बेस्ट इन टुमारो एग्जाम डोंट थिंक अबाउट नेट कट ऑफ वी विल डिस्कस नेट कट ऑफ ऑल्सो ओके ऑल राइट ये इज गोइंग टू गो अप फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस टाइम डोंट वरी अबाउट इट वॉट एवर इट इज वील टेक केयर ऑफ इट योर एक्शन राइट नाउ विल नॉट हेल्प ठीक है अभी अगर आप बैठ के सोचोगे सोचोगे तो उससे आपको कुछ नहीं मिलने वाला कल के एग्जाम पे फोकस कीजिए मास्टर्स एंड पीएचडी एक्चुअली लेवल में ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है देर सम कॉमन टॉपिक्स कॉमन क्वेश्चंस आई हैव टेकन द बेस्ट एंड आई एम गिविंग यू सेवेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन लेट्स गेट राइट इन इट प्लीज टाइप इन योर आंसर्स इन द कमेंट्स आई कैन सी दैट सम ऑफ यूर हेयर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग चलिए ऑल राइट Uh, now an academy i am an educator on an academy for the nta ugc net category i am the top educator for psychology so an academy is actually giving a 7 day free trial for the plus product jo subscription product hum aapko offer karte hain usme aapko 7 day free trial mil rahi hai don't miss this chance if you haven't done this before if you are a new user aap ye kar sakte hain scan the code take a screenshot use it later scan karo code fir register karo ओके चूज एन टी ए यूजीसी नेट एग्जाम एज योर गोल एक्टिवेट योर कोड कोड क्या है यहाँ पे एच ए एफ टेन ओके और यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज हफ साइव इफ यू आर डूइंग दिस फॉर माई क्लासेस यू विल हैव एक्सेस टू ऑल प्लस क्लासेस फॉर दी एन टी ए यूजीसी नेट कैटेगरी एंड सात दिन आपको ये सब्सक्रिप्शन फ्री में मिलेगी वो है ट्राई द प्रोडक्ट चलिए लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड We have some really really cool questions over here. So go ahead and answer. Here, on pe no bar. You can go ahead and respond first. I will read the question for you. Baki options, you will read yourself. And what will you do? You will answer. 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 You will ओके okay, शुभम मैम प्लीज सजेस्ट मी कैसे तैयारी करूं आप कल का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं या आप बाद में दे रहे हैं नेक्स्ट ईयर यूर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर हाँ तो रिवीजन ज्यादा रिसर्च का करिए बाकी जनरल साइकोलॉजी से ही बाकी का आता है ठीक है रिसर्च का ज्यादा करिए आप रिसर्च और टेस्टिंग का रिविजन इवन डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक्स आते हैं चलिए प्लीज इन द कमेंट्स प्लीज टाइप लाइक वन ए to be like this so that i understand which question you are marking for and please go ahead and answer chaliye which of the following statements about correlation coefficient is not true yahan pe correlation coefficient ke bare mein kaun si statement galat hai isko exam samajh ke acche se padhiye and then go ahead and answer अगले साल की तैयारी कर रहा हूं okay shubham aap classes mein ho to main aapke liye ek strategy class le lungi sabke liye theek hai मैं बता दूंगी आपको क्लासेस आर मोर देन इनफ इनफैक्ट डी का अगर आप एंट्रेंस देने जाएंगे मास्टर्स या पीएचडी का अगर आपने मेरा एक अगर आपने मेरा एक कंप्लीट कोर्स अटेंड किया है अब यू विल गेट ऑलमोस्ट फुल स्कोर ओके फाइन व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू नाउ क्लियरली अ कोरिलेशन ऑफ माइनस टू थ्री इज नॉट हायर देन अ कोरिलेशन ऑफ प्लस पॉइंट फोर फाइव है ना ठीक है तो स्ट्रेंथ तो क्लियरली यहां पे ज्यादा है ना नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव मैटर नहीं करता है ऑप्शन थ्री इज आर करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स गो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स इज यूज्ड टू एक्सप्लेन द एवोल्यूशनरी एडवांटेज ऑफ हेल्पिंग अनरिलेटेड इंडिविजुअल्स एवोल्यूशनरी एडवांटेजेस क्या है जिनसे हम रिलेटेड भी नहीं होते हैं कभी कभी उनको भी हेल्प कर देते हैं क्यों करते हैं ऐसा मैम मैं आपका फाउंडेशन देख रहा हूं हाँ वेरी गुड वो कंप्लीट करके गेट बैक टू मी वो कंप्लीट करके मुझे बताइए एक बार
Okay, wonderful. Very, very good option. One will be the correct answer here. Reciprocal altruism. We don't actually get any personal gain from trying to save other human beings. Lekin hum sab ye karte hain. At least rather than taking videos, sometimes we actually choose to help. Why do we do this? Because there is a sense of reciprocal altruism. And there is, matlab humari jo, you know, species hai, wo carry forward karegi. So for that sake. Kinship selection se hi aata hai word altruism and here we are showing reciprocal altruism towards one another so that human beings can go ahead and survive as a species. Which of the following leadership behaviors are identified by the path goal theory? Bataiye, what is kin selection ma'am? Wahi jo aapne pada nahi. We'll do it in social psychology. Kin selection is that I want my family and therefore my species to go ahead and survive. Evolution wise, ठीक है? Okay, all right. Please go ahead and answer. And please tell me your score in the end. Seventy five में से मुझे अपना score बता देना. Okay, very very good. Participative, achievement oriented, directive and supportive. This is the these are the kind of um, leadership styles given by the path goal theory. Even organizational psychology से काफी कुछ आता है यहाँ पे so if you have had it as a paper in your masters great please revise your notes an item analysis that determines whether people who have done well on a particular item will also done well on the whole test this is called what किस तरह का आइटम एनालिसिस हम करते हैं ये जानने के लिए कि जिन्होंने एक आइटम पे अच्छे से आंसर किया है क्या उनका whole score भी अच्छा है Aztec कौन है? Very very good for those of you who are getting this correct. This is clearly item discrimination. Can I say we are going to do an item total correlation here? Item total correlation. That's a way of checking item discrimination as well. चलिए very very good for those of you who got this correct. When a researcher wants to consider a relationship among combination of three or more variables, generally it is advised to use what? I or she? Same Aishi who is saying nervous ho rahe hai. Aishi nervous mat ho. Alright, okay. Chal you please go ahead and answer. Very, very simple. Multiple variables, multivariate analysis. Thik hai? It's referring to regression over here, uh, but then multiple correlation which we check karte hai na, multivariate analysis. And just words are used, different words are used, um, just so students will get confused. Chali. According to APA, what can be classified as a mentally disordered person? Must have what of, which of the following? Thik hai? Agar kisi ko hum mentally disordered person, you know, label ya diagnose karna chahte hai, क्या कंडीशन नेसेसरी है यहाँ पे एटलीस्ट यहाँ पे जो हैं ऑप्शंस इनमें से रेलेवेंट क्या है आल्सो आई थिंक आई एम गेटिंग योर कमेंट्स प्रिटी क्विकली आई हैव केप्ट द लेटेंसी एट लो हैव लर्न अ थिंग और टू चलिए मैम 198 ईडब्ल्यूएस हाँ जी यस प्लीज रिप्लाई हाँ हाँ अच्छे चांसेस हैं Tension mat lo, you'll probably get it. All right. All right. Very, very good. Judge to be mentally disordered by an impartial panel of three judges. Aisa hota hai? Do we have this for every single person? Not true. Out of touch with reality. Only psychotic. Only psychotic disorders. Every person is psychotic or what? Not true. Performing an illegal behavior. No, this makes you a criminal. Person distressed or incapable of functioning adequately. Ye hai aapka clue. So sure, occupational functioning should be hampered. Must have. Very important criteria for diagnosing a disorder. Number four. Ah, very good. Chali. The contact hypothesis proposed by Allport is related to which of the following aspects?
Please go ahead and answer. All right. Wonderful for those of you who are getting this correct. Option two will be correct. Positive intergroup relations. Ye foster karna chahta hai. Contact hypothesis says the more groups interact, the less likely they are to fight with each other because then the chances of prejudice reduce. Okay? That's contact hypothesis. Chali. Number eight. Dash occurs throughout the research process to develop, raising the anal analytical level of emerging theory, identifying tentative categories, their properties and relationships and gaps in data collection. Research near. Research testing. Except for that, any general psychology book will help. Ma'am, what's focused coding? I don't know. You're you're doing the question. Tell me what, what will be the correct answer. Okay. What is done throughout is memo writing. What is done throughout is actually memo writing. Okay throughout the process very very good very very good so you have open coding you have axial coding and you have selective coding why is it doing this eight minute okay Haan, chalo, theek hai. Hmm. Mm, is there focused coding in the other one hmm. not right okay there is there is so straws and glazer have given different different types of coding to aisa hai Chalye. Chalye. Selective coding is also known as focused coding. I think if you compare the two models, then yes. If you compare the two models, then yes. One have given one is given theoretical coding um, or theoretical sampling and some other type of coding. And these two people have given open coding, uh, axial coding, and then selective coding. Ye bataye, yahan kya sahi hoga? Grounded theory pe kaafi questions aate hain. Kaafi questions aate hain. Uh, substantive and theoretical. Again, in that you have like, um, I think again, in that you have axial coding. In grounded theory, the process of selecting the core category, systematically relating it to other categories, validating the relationships. But I ye kaha pe hoga? Okay. Now here, selective coding will be the correct answer. Clearly, we are selecting core categories. We are selecting core categories. In axial, actually, you create axes. Okay? Ma'am, blur is showing. Resolution increase. Kijiye. So, selective coding will be the correct answer here. Axial coding, you actually make axes, you organize. Karte hai. So, when you select core categories and see whether they are related or unrelated and how to keep them finally, so selective coding will be your correct answer. Chali. A type of explanation used in positivist social science in which explanation relies heavily on causal laws and law-like statements and interrelationships are called what guys blur ho raha hai to aap kya karenge aap resolution increase karenge chalo let's go I love the language that they use. I wish net used such language. Instead, wo novel ki jaga N O V A L likha hai wahan pe. For those of you who already went through the question paper, chaliye. Very very good. This is nothing but nomothetic. Okay. Why is this going away? One minute. My screen keeps going away. All right. Okay. This is simply nomothetic. Law of parsimony is also known as Occam's razor. Everything is simple. Idiographic to definitely nahi hoga. Hermeneutics is Willem Dilthi. Remember, it's religion related studies, historicality, qualitative. Ye to nahi hoga na. Positivist social science. Positivist matlab measurement and observation pe sab based hai na. Measurement and comparison. 
if it is positivist hmm causal laws like statements and interrelationships nomothetic chalo theek hai let's go habituation develops through habituation kya hota hai aur ye develop kaise hoti hai chaliye jaldi se very very good option c is our correct answer ya 3 is our correct answer the fact that our attention declines when something is presented to us repeatedly theek hai koi cheez exciting nahi rehti hai kyunki usko bar bar experience karte hain that's basically the process by which people self views are influenced by their perception of how others view them is popularly known as theek hai क्या प्रोसेस है जिससे लोगों के व्यूज किस चीज से इन्फ्लुएंस होते हैं कि दूसरे लोग उनको किस तरह देखते हैं किस तरह व्यू करते हैं वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी वेरी गुड वॉट इज दिस दिस इज लुकिंग ग्लास सेल्फ बाय कूली कूली की सोशल साइकोलॉजी सोशल साइकोलॉजी इज ऑल्सो हॉट टॉपिक दिस टाइम इवन नेट इज गॉन ऑल क्रेजी एंड गिवन एवरी थिंग सोशल साइकोलॉजी वेरी वेरी इजी वेरी वेरी इजी तो यहाँ पे भी सोशल साइकोलॉजी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा ऑन विच रिसर्च ऑफ प्लॉट्स ईच केस ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन वेर ईच एक्सेस रिप्रेजेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ वन वेरिएबल ये बताइए इसको क्या कहते हैं दो वेरिएबल्स हैं हमारे पास उन्हीं का डेटा हम प्लॉट कर रहे हैं बताइए क्या होगा ओके क्विक 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 वेरी वेरी गुड दिस इज द स्कैटर प्लॉट स्कैटर प्लॉट को स्कैटर ग्राम लिखा है जस्ट टू कंफ्यूज नथिंग को रिलेशन रिलेटेड डेटा को रिलेशन की जो कर्व होती है ये जो बेस्ट फिट लाइन इसके थ्रू हम बाद में बनाते हैं दिस इज योर स्कैटर प्लॉट राइट योर को रिलेशन में बी लाइक दिस ओके ऑल राइट चलिए ओके आयुषी थैंक यू फॉर लेटिंग मी नो बार्नम इफेक्ट क्या होता है बताइए वी हैव डिस्कस दिस अ लॉट ऑल राइट वेरी गुड वेग पर्सनैलिटी डिस्क्रिप्शन जैसे आपको कहते हैं कि ओ यूर द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु गेट्स एंग्री वंस इन अ वाइल बट यू आर वेरी स्वीट यू नो यूर वेरी काइंड एंड केयरिंग दैट्स लिटरली एनी बडी या हॉरोस्कोप जो बताते हैं हमें दैट ऑल्सो कन्फर्मेशन बायस दैट टेक्स प्लेस देर ऑल्सो यू सी दिस बार्नम इफेक्ट द मेथड एसोसिएटेड विद इंटरप्रेटिव सोशल साइंस विच ओरिजिनेट्स इन रेलिजियस एंड लिटरेरी स्टडीज ऑफ टेक्सुअल मटीरियल इज कॉल्ड ये हमने बार बार किया है ये बताइए ये क्या है वेरी वेरी गुड हर्मन्यूटिक्स विलियम डिल्थी रेलिजियस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी वेरी गुड और ये इंटरप्रेटिव ठीक है इंटरप्रेटिव मेथड्स में आएगा वेरी वेरी गुड चलिए नेक्स्ट The researcher identifying relevant categories of people can decide how many to get in each category. The number of people in various categories of the sample is fixed. This is what kind of sampling? Literally, the answer is there. Chali. वेरी वेरी गुड दिस इज कोटा सैम्पलिंग हम एक कोटा फिल कर रहे हैं ठीक है वी कैन डिसाइड हाउ मेनी टू गेट इन ईच कैटेगरी एंड द वेरियस कैटेगरीज का सैम्पल जो होता है मतलब ट्वेंटी मैन थर्टी वे मैन लाइक दैट ओके द रिग्रेशन इक्वेशन गिव अ प्रिडिक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ वाई फॉर ईच वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स absolutely in addition to these predicted values there are observed values of y the difference between predicted and observed value is known as what बताइए प्रिडिक्टेड वैल्यू और ऑब्जर्व वैल्यू में जो डिफरेंस आती है उसको क्या कहते हैं वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी वेरी गुड इट्स सिंपली द एरर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड द रेजिडुअल हाँ वेरी वेरी गुड बाकी के जो हैं बिल्कुल रेलिवेंट नहीं है ऑप्शंस तो आपके लिए ऑप्शन यहाँ पे काफी इजी है 
try to eliminate also. Hmm. Kohlberg's theory of moral development was criticized by Gilligan primary because, primarily because. Carol Gilligan ne Kohlberg ki theory ko criticize kyun kiya bataiye. Okay, all right. It was based on the study of boys only. Option two is correct. Very, very good. Chalye, number 19. The dash is less sensitive. Ye highly repeated question hai. Please understand basic, basic research question. Everybody can answer this. The dash is less sensitive than the dash uh, to the presence of a few extreme scores. Very, very good. The median is less sensitive than the mean. Mean kafi change hota hai. Agar outliers hote hai data mein. Median ko fark nahi padta hai. To median is less sensitive. Less sensitive matlab does not make a difference to the median. So option 1 will be your correct answer here. Very good for those of you who got this right. Chali. Good job. Good job. Chal. Now here, chi-square test is a test of what? Bataiye. Chi-square asal mein test kis cheez ka hai? Absolutely, we are actually comparing the proportions of two different, two different sets of data. Nominal data. Nominal data. Thik hai? And one observation will never be repeated in any other cell. Mutually exclusive. Only chi square is only a test of independent groups. Please remember that because chi square pe kafi questions aate hain. The tendency to continue seeking a goal in the face of obstacles or resistance is called what? If we keep working on the goal even despite difficulties and obstacles, isko kya kehte hain? Very, very good. This is simply persistence. Very, very good. Chalo. The assumption of dash states that across any two treatment conditions, the variance of difference of scores in the population is the same. We have discussed this in class. We have discussed this in class. And I have told you that same agar hum bol rahe hain, to ye particular design ke liye apply hota hai. Applies to only a particular kind of design. So, to guys. The difference between any two groups is supposed to be the same in the population. This basically is the assumption of sphericity and this is most applicable to uh, repeated measure designs. Ye particularly repeated measure design may use hota hai. Okay, all right, absolutely, absolutely, not homogeneity. Homogeneity of variance means that between any two groups, koi bhi treatment conditions ho, unki standard deviations comparable hongi, same nahi hongi, same nahi hongi, standard deviations uh, comparable hongi. That is homogeneity of variance. This is sphericity. In dash learning experiment, was evidence that rats had learned to get through a maze once the reward was presented. Chali, easiest, today's the easiest question. Please go ahead and answer quickly. Very, very good. Beautiful. Nice. Very, very nice. All right. Latent learning will be our correct answer over here. Absolutely. Latent learning will be our correct answer. Chali. This is a Tolman's experiment. A response to communication overload used by many executives and organizations is the use of a dash, a person who screens potential communication and allows only the most important to go through. Ye kaun hai? Ye kya hai? Ye socho. Fairly simple? Yeah. 
ये काफी पूछा जाता है दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज आस्ट अगेन एंड अगेन मास्टर्स इज वेल एज पी एच डी एंट्रेंसेस वेरी वेरी गुड इट्स द गेट कीपर द गेट कीपर अप्रूवल हेयर इज कंसिडर्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड देन दिस इज बेसिकली टू एलिमिनेट एनी क्या कहते हैं बेसिकली फॉर फिल्टरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इफ देर इज एन इंफॉर्मेशन ओवरलोड ट्राई try tries never mind try cycle glycerols try sil hey, there's something wrong with this oh okay try glycerides are also known as what try glycerides hote kya hai bataiye <laughs> one question mark definite answer <laughs> exam mein bhi aap you'll put question mark after your answer word body fat only प्लांट ग्लूकोज तो है नहीं सेल प्रोटीन तो है नहीं ट्राई ग्लिसराइज जनरली वेन यू हैव हाई कोलेस्ट्रॉल यू हैव हाई ट्राई ग्लिसराइज ऑल्सो फैट रिलेटेड टू द हार्ट अ रैंक ऑर्डर टेस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू इंडिपेंडेंट ग्रुप्स इज कॉल्ड व्हाट अ रैंक ऑर्डर टेस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दो इंडिपेंडेंट ग्रुप्स में अगर आप रैंक ऑर्डर डिफरेंस देखेंगे तो इस टेस्ट को क्या कहते हैं they should have just written triglycerides kya itna like itna kyun all right all right this is independent groups na so this is man whitney u test non parametric equivalent of what non parametric equivalent of independent t test डैश के नॉट बी यूज टू एस्टिमेट इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी रिलायबिलिटी यहां पर बताइए कौन सा मेथड इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी हमारे लिए नहीं चेक कर सकता ऑल राइट ऑल राइट वेरी वेरी गुड फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हुआ गेटिंग दिस करेक्ट ऑल्टरनेट फॉर्म रिलायबिलिटी जो है ये आपकी इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी नहीं चेक कर सकता ओके ऑल राइट वाई डज माई यूट्यूब पेज की प्लानिंग अवे ओके ऑल राइट चलिए ऑल ऑफ दी अदर्स आर मेथड्स ऑफ चेकिंग इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी स्प्योरमैन ब्राउन फॉर्मूला जो है देन यू हैव रूल ऑन फ्लैनगन ऑल्सो विच इज सिंपली एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द सेम सो देर फोर देर फोर वॉट ओनली ऑल्टरनेट फॉर्म रिलायबिलिटी इज नॉट एन इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी मेथड चलिए आउट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्यूज विच क्यूज आर बायनोक्यूलर बायनोक्यूलर क्यूज कौन से हैं परसेप्शन पे काफी क्वेश्चंस हैं यहाँ पे इजी टॉपिक स्कोरिंग टॉपिक सो प्लीज रिवाइज वेल एंड गो ऑल राइट Absolutely, retinal disparity and convergence are binocular. बाकी के सारे monocular हैं काफी questions होते हैं If you're a one-eyed pilot, which one can you see? Very, very हाँ very easy questions. Just get them correct. Which of the following statements is not true of inductive theory? Inductive theory के बारे में कौन सी statement सही नहीं है बताइए Sorry, is true, is true. Not isn't true, is true, is true. और एब्सोल्युटली इमर्जेस फ्रॉम डेटा ये आपको ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी के बारे में पूछ रहा है इट डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व हाइपोथेसिस इट्स नॉट डिराइव फ्रॉम क्वांटिटेटिव मेथड्स इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट क्वालिटेटिव मेथड्स क्वालिटेटिव मेथड्स आर इंडक्टिव इन नेचर ठीक है वेर इज क्वांटिटेटिव आर हाइपोथेटिको डिडक्टिव इन नेचर मूव फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक टू जनरल और राइट इमर्जेस फ्रॉम डेटा इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट डेटा इज डेटा ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी में इवन इमेजेस टेक्स्ट एवरीथिंग इज डेटा American Psychological Association was founded by Dash and Dash. बताइए जल्दी से किसने किया कब किया
very very good g stanley hall in 1892 the statement there will be significant difference in the attitude towards health of a person from low and high socio economic status is a type of ye kaisi hypothesis hai bataiye is pe bhi kafi questions aate hain i saw that most questions were from research part and second to that testing part because for phd it makes sense even for your masters baki aap portion kar loge they definitely test the research and uh, testing part because that is essential to understanding and then being able to carry out research and write your dissertation very very good this is an alternative hypothesis and it is bidirectional because hum sirf ye bol rahe hain ki significant difference kiska high एटीट्यूड या पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड होगा किसका नेगेटिव एटीट्यूड होगा वी आर नॉट स्पेसिफाइंग सो ऑल्टरनेटिव बाय डायरेक्शनल हाइपोथेसिस चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट डैश इज अ सोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज एज पर एम्पेरिसिस लेट मी सी हु ऑल गेट दिस करेक्ट एम्पेरिसिस के हिसाब से सोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज क्या है बताइए ओके रिमेंबर रिमेंबर इट स्टार्टेड विद एरिस्टोटल नॉट लॉजिकल रीजनिंग दिस इज रैशनलिस्ट एम्पेरिस विल से ऑब्जर्वेशन इज एवरीथिंग ब्रिटिश एम्पेरिस आप याद करो सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंसिस स्टार्टेड विद एरिस्टोटल हु सेट डेटा बाय ऑल्टरनेटिव मैम क्यों वो नल हाइपोथिस लग रहा है श्वेता आपको रिसर्च एस हाइपोथिस ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस ओनली ओके एंड नॉन डायरेक्शनल तो इसको बाय डायरेक्शनल यहां पर लिखा है इट्स नॉट अ नल हाइपोथिस नल सेज देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप चलो सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंस विल बी आर करेक्ट आंसर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डैश इंक्लूड कोलेस्ट्रॉल कॉटेजॉल इस्ट्रोजन एंड टेस्टोस्टेर All right, all right. These are steroid hormones and steroids. Okay. Cortisol, estrogen, testosterone are steroid hormones. Got it? Correct. They are synthesized from adipose tissue or fat. In a two into two into two ANOVA, the number of factors and levels respectively are. टू इंटू टू इंटू टू अनोवा में बताइए फैक्टर्स कितने हैं और लेवल्स कितने हैं हर फैक्टर के ओके हाउ मेनी वेरिएबल्स डू वी हैव वी हैव थ्री वेरिएबल्स हर एक वेरिएबल की लेवल्स कितनी है दो लेवल्स हैं दो लेवल्स हैं है ना एब्सोल्युटली चलो ठीक है विच मेथड ऑफ एस्टिमेटिंग वेलिडिटी को रिलेट विद स्कोर ऑन द टेस्ट विद रिलेटेड कंस्ट्रक्ट बताइए कौन मेथड वेलिडिटी एस्टिमेट करने का um, अपने अपने टेस्ट को दूसरे टेस्ट रिलेटेड कंस्ट्रक्ट के साथ कंपेयर करता है ओके ऑल राइट दिस इज कन्वर्जेंट वेलिडिटी चेकिंग विद सिमिलर कंस्ट्रक्ट कंस्ट्रक्ट वेलिडिटी के दो हिस्से हैं ना देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्ट वेलिडिटी वन इज कन्वर्जेंट एंड अनादर वन इज डिस्क्रिमिनेंट डिस्क्रिमिनेंट इज चेकिंग विद अनरिलेटेड और ऑपोजिट कंस्ट्रक्ट 
and convergent is checking with related or similar constructs. Very good. Very, very good. Chali. Ah, now if you do want to come join my live classes, if you are new here watching this live or recorded, know that you can join uh, my classes and all you have to do is, what do you have to do? You can check over here. Yeah, aapke sare options hai. If you use the code Hafsa Live or HAF10, uh, you will get a 10 to 20% off depending on if it is discount season. So if you do want to learn all of these topics and more and be able to ace exams, come join my classes and then the rest is going to be history. Okay, all right. Chali, utna hi tha. Um, the area of hypothalamus responsible for satiation behavior. Satiation kahan pe hoti hai, bataiye. All right, absolutely happens in the happens in the ventromedial hypothalamus. Individual expectations concerning their ability to perform various tasks is called what? This question is repeated as well. Very, very frequently repeated in all PhD entrances, not just DU. Very, very good. This is nothing but self-efficacy. Hamari expectation ki hum kya kar sakte hain aur kya nahi kar sakte. Hamari skills mein apna confidence ya apni expectation. If you had sight only in one eye, which of the following deaf cues would you not use? Agar ek hi aank functioning hai, toh kaun sa deaf cue nahi use kar sakte? Very, very frequently asked. Very, very good. Binocular cues cannot be used. That means convergence will not be used. Correct. Absolutely correct. In Piaget's theory, the changing of existing schemata to make them conform to reality is called. Bataiye. Piaget ke hisab se agar hum existing schema ko change karte hai. Kya process hai ye? Options are very, very easy. This is accommodation not assimilation and then assimilation whatever existing schemata are there they're enough to interpret new information kabhi kabhi aise bhi dete hain ki old information is used to interpret new information wo kya hota hai that's assimilation number 40 which of the following types of reasoning is considered as illogical in cognitive behavioral therapy cognitive behavioral therapy mein kaun si yahan pe reasoning illogical consider ki jati hai bataiye Hmm. Selective abstraction is one of the cognitive distortions of Aaron Beck. Aaron Beck ne jo cognitive distortions diye hain, usme se selective abstraction ek hai. Minimization, maximization, um, personalization, wo saari cheeze bhi hain, thik hai? Toh go ahead and revise. Very, very important portion. Therapies as well. Which one is not correctly matched? Yahaan pe kaun sa correctly matched nahi hai? Very, very good. Option 4 is our correct answer. Gutman scalogram hai. Whereas equal appearing intervals is actually part of uh, kya kehte hai isko? LCJ. Thurston's comparative uh, law of comparative judgment. The British psychologist Frederick Bartlett conducted a classic study of the constructive nature of memory known as the Bartlett ne kaun si study ki thi? Uska naam kya tha?
All right, wonderful. It was called the War of Ghost Study. Okay? Where people were saying something black stuff came out of his mouth or he died, he didn't die. Different people were recalling different events. Know that constructive and reconstructive memory pe ye theory thi. And later, yeah, and later Colin and Loftus and all of those people took inspiration from Bartlett's theory. Validity of qualitative research is generally addressed by qualitative research ki validity hum kaise uh, verify karte hain bataiye. Very good for those of you who are getting this right. Triangulation. Data is compared through different methods and different sources of data are taken so that they are compared and corroborated, verified. Okay, compared to triangulation. The bracketing is used with which research paradigm? Ye bracketing kya hota hai aur ye kis research paradigm? Absolutely, Shweta. Triangulation, very, very commonly asked topic. So please read up on it as well. Okay, wonderful. I have answers from Samia and Ekta waiting for others also. Chaliye. Wonderful, wonderful. Phenomenological research. Now, what is bracketing? Bracketing actually means that we keep our opinion side mein rakte hai so that we don't have any preconceived notions. All right. We try to drop our presumptions so that we don't end up influencing our observations in a negative way. Uh, but this apparently takes away. Matlab, yahan pe subjectivity hi core hai na, to wo thoda, it takes away the essence of the phenomenological research. Very, very important here again. What is the crisis that dominates the individual during young adulthood as per Erickson's stages of psychosocial development? All right, absolutely. Intimacy versus isolation, young adulthood mein. This is all about finding the virtue of love. Theek hai? Absolutely, absolutely. Number 46, on what scores are we till now, guys? 45 mein se batai ga, aapka score kya hai? Forty-three, ma'am. That's good, Ekta. Pooja, thirty-nine. Nice. Forty-three, Samia. Okay, chalo, achha hai. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Chaliye, 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 chaliye. Let's go. Let's go. Number forty-six. In dash, the effect of an undesired continuous variable on a dependent variable is partialed out from other categorical independent variables. Bataiye. In dash, the effect of an undesired continuous variable on a dependent variable is partialed out from the other categorical independent variables. Pretty straightforward. Maine count nahi kiya. Count kyun nahi kiya? How could you do this? Alright, this is analysis of covariance. Ancova. Where we add another, where we basically add a covariate which serves as a continuous independent variable and uska regression ke through hum correlation karta hai dependent variable ke saath and uski jo actually you know uska jo influence hota hai wo nikal dete hai then we check what our independent variable is actually doing. If you have a basic idea of ANCOVA, you will understand what I am talking about. In linear regression, the predicted values of dependent variable fall. Dependent variable ke values hume kaha milenge. Ye humne class ki beginning mein bhi, aaj ki class ki beginning mein bhi discuss kiya.
Okay, okay, waiting for others to answer as well. All right, this will happen on the best fit line. Hamara Sara data jo hai dependent variable ka, dono variables ka, that will be on the best fit line. When the heart muscle contracts, each contraction produces a maximum force called. Heart muscle jab contract hota hai, to contraction maximum force jo produce karti hai, usko kya kehte hai, bataiye. हाँ सचिन कंडीशनिंग ही हो गई है। As long as you have the right answer, ये वो हाँ this is not that school exam where if you wrote B instead of two they'll not give you marks। चलता है। Very very good. Systolic is the higher one, जो 80 by 120, 70 by 100 आता है. उसमें when the heart is contracting, that is the systolic, and जब heart relax करता है, that is diastolic. In intergroup relations, often small trivial positive acts towards members of minority groups are made to deflect accusations of prejudice and discrimination. बताइए. छोटे-छोटे positive acts किए जाते हैं minority groups की तरफ, so that हमें कोई ये नहीं कहे कि हम प्रेजिडिस्ट हैं। Very very good. This is known as tokenism. This is basically the definition of tokenism. For this particular individual who is going to benefit, जो tokenism से benefit करेगा, उसको positive discrimination कहते हैं, ठीक है? जो एक इंसान या दो लोग tokenism से actually benefit करेंगे, minority के एक दो लोग। in classical test theory, p-value is defined as the proportion of persons correctly responding to or agreeing with an item is used to determine. ये हमने क्लास में किया है या आपको क्रैश कोर्स में भी कराया है बताइए p indicates what? p and d दो वैल्यूज होते हैं. p का मतलब क्या होता है? Very very good, very very good for those of you who are getting this correct. p indicates item difficulty and d Indicates item discrimination. Very good. Very, very good. Chali. Wonderful. 51. 51. Which of the following is a method of validating a construct? Construct ko validate karne ka ek particular specific method bataiye kya hai? It's asking you the statistical procedure actually. So multi-trait, multi multi-method analysis is one of the ways of determining. Okay, even principal component analysis is one of the ways of uh, assessing construct validity or validity. I have given a table diya hai, jo bhi complete course. Hoga. Usme you will find it. You will find it in foundation course also. Usme sub mentioned hai ki kya validity measure karne ke liye kaun sa method use kiya jata hai. Absolutely. So please go revise that. Please go revise that before your exam. Type 1 errors result when the null hypothesis is. Type 1 error kab, kab karte hai? Hum batai. When do we commit type 1 error? When the null hypothesis is. Very, very good. True null hypothesis is rejected. That is our type 1 error. In a 4 and 5 randomized group designed with 10 observations in each treatment condition, the error degrees of freedom will be. Error degrees of freedom kya hoga? Batai.
ओके वैंडरफुल नाउ फोर इनटू फाइव व्हाट इस के फोर इनटू फाइव एक वेरिएबल के फोर लेवल्स हैं दूसरे के पांच तो इनको जब आप कंबाइन करेंगे यू विल एक्चुअली गेट नॉट कैप्टन प्लैनेट बट ट्वेंटी लेवल्स और ट्वेंटी ग्रुप्स तो यू विल हैव योर के व्हिच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ठीक है ओके वो टेन ऑब्जर्वेशंस इन ईच ग्रुप तो एन क्या हुआ नंबर ऑफ पीपल इन ईच ग्रुप इनटू द नंबर ऑफ ग्रुप्स यू हैव टू हंड्रेड सिंस दिस इज अ रैंडमाइज ग्रुप डिजाइन दिस इज अ बिटवीन ग्रुप डिजाइन आप क्या करेंगे बिटवीन ग्रुप डिजाइन में डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ एरर इज सिंपली एन माइनस के सो टू हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू वन When the motive has a biological, biological or physiological basis, it is called a what? जब आपके motive की biological या physiological basis हो तो उसको क्या कहते हैं बताइए All right, this is a drive. Drive is psychological, but its basis need hoti hai. Need is physiological. So it's saying the motive has a uh, physiological basis. That means the need is bringing about a drive. Children are taught names of objects, animals, peoples by binding the relations between various objects and uh, everything that they have learned. According to B. F. Skinner, this is what verbal operant. ये कौन सा verbal operant है? बताइए. नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव बताइए आंसर क्या होगा वेरी गुड दिस इज टैक्ट वी डिस्कस दिस इन क्लास ये दिस इज सिंपली टैक्ट नेमिंग ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इन द एनवायरमेंट A component added to Baddeley's original working memory model serves as a backup store with both LTM and the components of working memory. ये बताइए backup store कौन सा होता है newly added component of this model क्या है बताइए. Very very good. This is the episodic buffer. Last component to be added और ये जो है ये थोड़ी सी storage भी करता है for around twenty to thirty seconds. and this is not a slave subsystem it communicates with our long term memory also with our central executive also and with our visual spatial sketch pad as well as our phonological loop number 57 in case of two independent samples the relation between students t and f ratio is ye bhi class mein kiya hai tell me what is this Absolutely, option one is your correct answer. F value is generally higher; it's a ratio um, of you know different values. Um, and then, uh, what do you generally say? So, here, t square is generally considered to be the value of f for the same groups. If you conduct a t test and you conduct an ANOVA test, f ratio will be equal to the square of the t value. मॉडरेट लेवल ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय जो पुराना क्राइटेरिया है जो आई क्यू के बेसिस पे इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी आई क्यू लेवल के बेसिस पे करता था ना टेल मी विच वन विल इंडिकेट मॉडरेट लेवल ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी और मेंटल रिटार्डेशन Okay, very very good. Thirty five to fifty five. Fifty five to seventy is mild mental retardation or intellectual disability, and then this is moderate. It's say come severe and it's say become profound. So this will be severe and zero to twenty is profound. One goal that has both positive and negative valence of approximate equal intensity can result into. Batai. 
एक ही गोल जिसमें पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव बैलेंस हो ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल अमाउंट्स में इसमें क्या इसमें क्या होगा All right, all right, all right. Absolutely, approach avoidance conflict will be our correct answer here. Approach avoidance conflict will be our correct answer. चलिए. Mindfulness operates when people. Mindfulness क्या होता है? बताइए. कब आप देखेंगे कि यहाँ पे mindfulness. Similar question was asked in NET 2022 also. Very very easy. This is also very easy. वेरी गुड पैरल प्रोसेसिंग नॉट नेसेसरी कॉग्नेटिव ऑटोमेटिक पायलट नहीं ऐसा तो नहीं है वी आर हाइटेंड अवेयरनेस दैट मीन्स वी कंट्रोल एवरीथिंग वी प्रोसेस एंड द वे वी प्रोसेस इट वी आर इन कंट्रोल राइट ओके डैश टेस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेन कार्ड हैविंग प्रिंट्स ऑफ इंग ब्लॉट यहाँ पे कौन से कार्ड में यहाँ पे कौन से टेस्ट में टेन कार्ड होंगे इंग ब्लॉट के बताइए very very good roshak has 10 cards five chromatic five achromatic um holdsman has 45 or 46 please check theek hai ye bhi puch sakte hain hmm correct correct thematic apperception has 31 cards in total and then 20 cards are applicable along with the blank one are applicable to either men or women in exposure therapy counter conditioning is a technique that involves counter conditioning ka actual purpose kya hota hai bataiye काउंटर कंडीशन में होता क्या है बताइए लर्निंग दैट एन इवेंट और सिचुएशन इज नो लॉन्गर थ्रेटनिंग ये समझना कि जिस चीज से हम डर रहे हैं वो एक्चुअल में डरावना नहीं है राइट दिस इज यूज टू ट्रीट फोबियाज फोबियाज क्लियरली इंडिकेट एन इ रैशनल फियर तो हम वो रिस्पॉन्स एक्सटिंक करके दूसरा रिस्पॉन्स सीखते हैं अडेप्टिव माल अडेप्टिव की जगह सो वी गॉट टू लर्न दैट वॉट एवर वी आर स्केर ऑफ इज एक्चुअली नॉट स्केरी डैश कैलकुलेट्स रेटर अग्रीमेंट इन अ फेयरली नैरो सर्कमस्टांस स्पेसिफिकली टू जजेस प्लेस अ नंबर ऑफ स्टिमिला इन टू नॉमिनल कैटेगरीज इंटर रेटर अग्रीमेंट हम किस मेथड से यू नो कैलकुलेट करते हैं बस वो आपको यहाँ पे बताना है हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट इंटर रेटर अग्रीमेंट वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी वेरी गुड दिस इज कोन का Cohen's kappa is used to calculate interrater agreement. Very very good. We are almost towards yeah. We are almost nearing the end. So well done so far. Let's go ahead and solve the rest of the questions also. Which of the following cannot be used to describe the spread of values? बताइए यहाँ पे spread of values हम किस चीज से नहीं measure कर सकते? ओके ओके ऑल राइट ऑल राइट नॉट बैड मीन से आप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नहीं चेक कर सकते डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मीन्स डिस्पर्शन रेंज इज अ मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्शन मेजर्स ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी आर मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज अ मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्शन तो इससे आप स्प्रेड या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चेक कर सकते हैं बट मीन इज अ मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी इट डज नॉट टेल यू द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द स्कोर्स ओके सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी ऑप्शन फोर इज योर करेक्ट आंसर चलिए 
Number 65, in general, reducing the risk of type 1 error also reduces the dash of the test. Very, very good. Increasing, um, kya kehte hai isko? Increasing, yeah, decreasing actually significance will reduce power as well. Alpha value ko jitna hum kam karenge, utna hamara test power bhi thoda sa kam ho jayega. So reducing the risk of type 1 error actually increases the power. Sorry, it decreases the power. Okay? Reducing the risk of type 1 error reduces the power as well. During the neurons resting stage, large amounts of positive dash ions are found in the extracellular fluid. Whereas relatively more positive dash ions are found inside the cell. Ye kya hai batayi? So I was thinking for the net paper, uh, would you guys like me to put up a video recorded or would you like to do a live with me tomorrow morning probably like early morning, 9 o'clock or something. There you can also ask me why this answer, why not this answer. Live. <laughs> live. Live. All right. Oh, okay. So large amounts of positive, what will be found in the extracellular fluid? Sodium will be found in the extracellular fluid, pretty much common sense. And then we will have potassium, which will be present on the inside of the cell. So option two is our correct answer. Very, very good. Live, ma'am. Live, ma'am. How early should we do it? I want to do it really early in the morning so that you guys can go ahead and challenge your keys and all. Live, ma'am. Live, ma'am. Okay, okay. A bell-shaped curve or the normal curve is... Normal curve kya hoti hai? What kind of kurtosis value does it have, basically? Ma'am, you'll discuss only the answers to be challenged. How can I discuss the whole paper and then discuss only the answers I want to challenge? Tuti, I'll find out what all you've done in the paper, I'm telling you. Mesocurtic will be our correct answer. Anybody who has scored less than 75 in paper 2, honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to hear about it. Actually, 85. Very, very, very easy paper. Very easy paper. Refers to the rules for engaging in appropriate and effective communication. But I appropriate. But ma'am, sorry, kal DU ka paper hai. To aap jao ya paper dene. Sorry, kyun? Mujhe, I'm, it's not like I am going. <laughs> what are the rules for engaging in? I'll send you my answer sheet, ma'am. What should I do with it? I will not be checking anybody's answer sheet, guys. Just you will tell me in the live class. If you do make it to live class, you will tell me what you got right and what you got wrong. Chalo, okay. I'll find out anyway. Okay, what's correct here? This is pragmatics, niceties, appropriate, formal environment. Mein. Thank you, please. All of that. Aise nahi, side ho jao and all of that. Hai. What is appropriate and what is effective? I told you people don't listen if you don't show manners. I told you. Applied psychology is harder than MA psychology? Little bit. I've taken questions from there as well. Paivio 1965 found that memory for a pair of concrete nouns is much better um, than memory for pairs of abstract nouns. Isko kya kehte hai bataiye? Ma'am, cut off high jayegi na. Hanji. It will increase at least 5 to 7 percentage from last year. Anybody who went, who studied a general psychology book must have answered like 80 percent correct. 80 out of 100. Should have, must have, nahi, should have. Ab kya kya hai, wo pata chalega analysis class mein. All right, this is the conceptual peg hypothesis. Very, very simple, honestly, common sense sort of if you try to understand what's going on here. One concept is sort of pegged onto the other, just like you do in mnemonic devices. Theek hai. Baki his original memory theory is dual code hypothesis. 
how iconic and echoic memory i think i've processed at the same time please check a conflict in which the most benefit beneficial action for an individual will if chosen by most people have harmful effects on everyone this is called what highly repeated question for du du entrance exams highly repeated question for any exam i feel here statistics are focused on statistics um and testing heavy focus all right this is a social dilemma guys this is competition versus cooperation aap yaad karo prisoners dilemma hai ye kash last year jitna hi cut off theek hai prisoners dilemma hai ye therefore we call it a social dilemma if we compete when other people are cooperating in the long run remember what i told you about bribe taking in the long run everybody suffers chaliye all right in ecological theory dash includes the face to face interactions that a person has in his or her immediate settings लास्ट ईयर वाला पेपर दे देना था एंड वन सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी फाइव वन एटी लेके आना था आई इट मेक्स मी यू नो नेवर माइंड आई विल नॉट से एनी थिंग चलिए आई एम ट्राइंग टू बी आई एम ट्राइंग टू बी वेरी लाइक आई एम ट्राइंग टू हैव लाइक टू हंड्रेड परसेंट एम्पथी आप चलो अभी लेट्स फिनिश एंड देन एट टू ओ क्लॉक आई डू योर पेपर कट ऑफ एनालिसिस ज्वाइन बैक एट टू आई सेंड यू द लिंक ऑल्सो बताइए ये क्या है Think about net cut off later. पहले आंसर करो चलो वेरी वेरी गुड दिस इज फ्रॉम यूरी ब्रॉन फ्रेंड ब्रेनर्स थियोरी बायो इकोलॉजिकल मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट दिस इज द माइक्रो सिस्टम माइक्रो सिस्टम के बाद वेर माइक्रो सिस्टम इंट्रैक्ट यू हैव योर मीसो सिस्टम उसके बाद यू हैव योर एक्सो सिस्टम विच इज इनडायरेक्ट इन्फ्लुंस माइक्रो सिस्टम इज वेर ऑल कल्चर इंट्रैक्ट एंड द क्रोनो सिस्टम इज सिंपली द टाइम dash refers to the rules governing the structure and sequence of speech sounds bataiye dash refers to the rules governing the structure and sequence of speech sounds kya hai ye phonology phonology sequence of speech sounds speech sounds not words not syntax not grammatical rules of arranging words in a sentence okay phonology dash forms a blood brain barrier a barrier that prevents certain substances in the blood stream from reaching the brain haan ji oh sounds sounds bataiye blood brain barrier kaun create karta hai particularly can you tell me which cell creates it particularly can you tell me which cell creates it we have recently discussed in unit number 4 let me see if any of you remember absolutely it is a type of glial cell it is one of the glial cells of the central nervous system yes it is astrocytes correct 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 astrocytes absolutely find out the correct ah last two questions come on guys find out the correct statement with respect to reliability and validity and the length of the test highly repeated again ye question kafi repeat hota hai please go ahead and answer reliability or validity or length of the test mein kya relationship hai bataiye both will increase when the test length increases ideally when assumptions are met ab yahan pe utna nahi hai as long as the test length increases both reliability and validity are bound to increase chali last question salivary gland is a part of dash system of the body salivary gland kis system of the body mein aata hai bataiye
very very good it's part of the gastrointestinal system so you are asked more in depth on you know care digestion and then just heart functioning and this and that now where is this ha huh. so basically do look at that as well if you have your notes from masters go through those or if you have something like aapke paas um, general psychology books jo maine send ki hain wo hai like ap psychology 2020 maine recently crash course mein ek share kiya tha i had also shared with you kaplan gre test prep 2022 That's actually really good for overview. Please go through it. मैंने प्लस कोर्स में शेयर किया था जिसके पास है आप प्लीज वो रिवाइज एक बार करें एंड एनी बेसिक्स टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल साइकोलॉजी जस्ट गो थ्रू गो थ्रू वन चैप्टर गो थ्रू वन चैप्टर ओके ऑल राइट ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर यू एग्जाम टूमोरो प्लीज डोंट वरी अबाउट नेट का कट ऑफ क्या होगा आपके वरी करने से कट ऑफ डाउन नहीं आएगा राइट वी विल डिस्कस द कट ऑफ हियर एट टू पी एम सो ट्यून बैक इन um it will be a live class because it's always good to do live classes um i want to see all of your reactions at least virtually and then if you did like today's class i would love to do so many of more uh, of these for you whenever i do find the time um so go ahead like share and subscribe if you like the class support the channel that's about it if you want to see me on an academy just follow the link in the description box and you can come join my classes and excel um just like all of my learners do chaliye thank you so much we'll call it a can't call it a day also there are three more classes uh yeah all the best for tomorrow bye bye